All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more turkey patterning. And we've got another new shell out here. So I'm definitely curious to see what it does because with this one, I think it could go either way. We might see some good results or it could be absolutely terrible at the same time. So for the shell I've got here today, I picked up some of the Heavy Shot Magnum Blend 20 gauge turkey shells. They are a 20 gauge, one and a quarter ounce payload of number fives, sixes, and sevens, moving about 1200 feet per second. But really the interesting part about these shells as you can see here across the front of the box it says 12 density high performance tungsten and i even went to the website and looked and sure enough this is not kind of your typical heavy shot 15 grams per cc type of stuff this tungsten that they have in here is 12 grams per cc and lead is what 11.4 i think 11.3 11.4 something like that grams per cc so this is pretty much a more expensive lead shell in my opinion a turkey is not going to feel that half a gram per cc difference so i don't know is it a little bit pointless to load a shell like this maybe maybe not Maybe it performs great. I don't know. Heavy shot in general has been very hit or miss for us. Sometimes it does decent. Other times it does absolutely terrible. So I don't know. Maybe these 20 gauge Magnum blend shells might do something good for us. Maybe they won't. We're just going to have to try it and see, I guess. But for the setup we've got here today to run them through, I brought out the Stevens 301 20 gauge with the stock extra full choke. Now this is not necessarily the tightest choke we have for this 20 gauge, but I figured for a shell like this, we needed a decent starting point anyway and the stock choke is typically at least what i start with so we'll see what it does through here and if it does decent then we'll run it through some other chokes a little bit tighter chokes and stuff and see what it does but for today we've got the stock extra full choke in the gun so as for today's test everything is the same as usual the turkey target is going to be set up at 40 yards i've got the chronograph as well so we'll be able to get our speed so let's get you guys a view of this target we'll take the shot look at the chrono and then look at our results i don't know what to expect out of these shells we've seen both pretty good and very bad out of these heavy shot shells over the times we've tested them on the channel so it could really go either way i guess but let's go over here and take this shot and just see what kind of pattern it actually does give us All right, so that shell gave us 1102 through the chronograph. The box calls for 1200, so we're 98 under their claim. So chances are they probably tested that shell through a longer barrel to get their velocity claim. The 301 that we tested here today has a 26 inch barrel, I believe. So who knows, they could have tried it through a 28 to get their velocity. Either way, 1100 isn't terrible and it's definitely not being pushed too fast or quite too slow yet either. So I don't think we're a million miles away from where I'd like these shells to be, but how did they actually perform down there at 40 yards? Let's go take a look. All right, now we're down here at our 40 yard paper and this is what we got. Now we do have a dead bird. There are two through the brain and three or four more down the spine there. So you absolutely would have gotten that turkey, but the overall pattern I think might be just a touch high. Either way though, we really see a pattern that's kind of all over the place a little bit. It's not the worst we've ever seen and it would absolutely be good enough to 40 yards to take a turkey. But we really don't have a hot core area at all. I mean, I think the core is right above his head. And as you can see, it really looks no different than pretty much anywhere else on this pattern. There are definitely a lot of noticeable gaps and voids all throughout this target here especially down on the lower side of the pattern and if you back up and look it almost looks like it kind of rainbowed over the top edge of the actual turkey paper there and we had plenty of these little strings and flyers off the top down there and down there way off the bottom as well and you guys will never be able to tell this on camera but number one there are very very few number seven pellets in this pattern just looking at the size of the holes that they punch through the paper here and what sevens we do have there might might be one or two mixed in on the turkey paper but the rest of them are all over here off the left edge i did not find a single number seven pellet size hole anywhere on the top or right side of this pattern which i mean this is pretty well the same density as lead is for the most part so they probably favored it more towards the number five and six shot size than the number sevens to be able to carry that energy out there at 40 yards so it's definitely not the prettiest looking pattern we've ever seen that's for sure but i want to see what 
this will do through a little bit tighter choke. I don't know the exact constriction of that stock extra full, but I know that it's more open than a lot of your dedicated aftermarket turkey chokes are. So if we get something like 565, 570, something like that in here, I would like to see what these will do through that. I think we can condense it down a little bit farther. I don't know that we're going to necessarily get a defined core area, but I do think we might clean up a little bit of this sporadic splotchiness we see here. But for today's test, I'm calling it pretty average, kind of in the middle somewhere. Not amazing, not terrible, good enough, but we can definitely do more, that's for sure. Okay, and here's the wad out of that shell, and as you can see, we did have one petal that peeled open farther than the rest, so that might have contributed a little bit to some of our unevenness in the pattern, but I just think it has to do more so with the choke being that little bit more open factory choke. Either way, though, nothing stuck down in there. No rips, tears, pinholes, anything like that. The wad looks pretty good overall here. Not really anything I'm too concerned about or worried about, and I definitely think we can go down in constriction and get it a little bit tighter, but for today, I think the wad did about as good as what it could have done when put through today's setup anyway. All right, y'all. Well, what did you think about that performance there? It's kind of borderline. It's not great. It's not terrible. And I definitely think we have some room for improvement there. Run it through some tighter chokes and see what happens. And it might tighten it up and get us a little bit hotter of a central area of the pattern. I guess if nothing else, we have a dead turkey and we have a good starting point as we move forward with these shells. But let me know your thoughts about it. Is that about what you expected? Were you a little bit surprised one way or the other? Hoping for better, expecting worse? If you've tested any of these 20 gauge Magna Blend shells, what have been your results with them? And if there's a certain choke or setup combo or anything you wanna see these run through, leave all that down below in the comments. I still think we can get a little bit better out of them with a little bit tighter choke, but I guess as a whole for heavy shot shells, that is not the worst we've ever seen by a long shot. But with that being said, I've got plenty more tests in the film, so I'm gonna get back to it. As always, Ways. we have the channel instagram as well as the mailbox where you can send stuff if you'd like all that information will be in the description if you're interested but i'm going to get back to it so i'll see y'all in the next one